Hey filmmakers from here, in this video we are doing a smooth text review which is a quite simple text review with two texts sliding into the shot and yeah quite a lot of movies and uh, yeah cinematic intros uses these uh, this text review and it's quite simple to do so first hit the T on your keyboard or press this T on here and we're going to type and press the preview screen and we're going to type in smooth. Already I actually have the text font that I normally use, the din, light, and then with the thickness. I actually make this a little bit bigger and move this to the middle. Actually, let's type the entire text that I want. Text reveal and change this to the size that I want, make this centered, move this over here, and I copy this out, or cut it out, make a new one, and paste there. So why instead of having them stuck to each other, I remove that one because we want them to move separately from each other and not be one entire text that is stuck together. So now we can also see here on the timeline itself, it's just one file instead of multiple files. I'm uh, going to also teach you a trick to add motion blur while we're using the standard transform of the text here, which doesn't include any motion blur. And uh, compared to using the normal transform tool, uh, that does contain uh, motion blur. However, the motion blur is not as pretty as the directional blur. So, however, it's much easier with the or much easier with the motion blur of the transform because it uh, automatically calculates it without you needing to add so many extra keyframes but the pre more prettier blur is the directional blur which gives you a much better looking blur so we're going to here move the text first so we want this to be 15 frames so one two three so we want to make the yeah review to be like around 15 frames so we'll hold down shift and use the arrow to the right press that three times one two three because every jump it jumps five frames and we end up at 15 frames we're going to cut it here uh, actually we don't need to cut it here we're just going to toggle the animation at the position also let's do it directly on both of them so this is smooth, and this is the text review. And now to go back to the start, and now we're just going to move the text out of frame. I'm going to drag this here and drag it out of frame. We're going to do the same here, but the opposite direction, of course. So now when we play it, can see it goes into frame and of course it's not a nice look because they're just uh, yeah moving into frame uh, at a constant speed so we're going to add an easy ease in and that will change it to end slightly smoother um, but personally I like to draw the ease in myself instead because this auto ease in it's is okay but personally it's not as nice looking if i drag it like this to drag it all the way out and when we play this it's a much nicer smoother movement However, as you can see, because everything, every frame is sharp, it doesn't look that nice. So we're going to effects, go to 
directional blur. We're going to drag this onto the timeline. So we can actually add a keyframe for the blur length. Press this toggle here. This is at zero, which is correct. And we're just going to move here about, add a little bit blur length. Also change this to 90 degrees for the more correct movement. And we just want it to be slightly, we don't need it to be too extreme. I can move this over here. Now when we play it, we can see there's motion blur. We can actually increase it a little bit more. Increase it a little bit more to 30. Move it there. And also we can add the ease in here. Also draw it out. Maybe we don't need to draw it out. Yeah, it's actually okay. Just with the standard ease in. And of course you might think if I want the text to have like been moving from this different time, uh, how would that be? Okay, so if we want the text to go, come in like differently, so we want the review to come in, not at the same time, but like the smooth came in and then afterwards the text review comes in. We can actually do that. From here we change this. There's a few things we need to change of course. The first is the text review positioning, uh, the timing. So we'll go to 15 frames first. And we're going to drag these keyframes over here. So we get after the smooth comes in, the text review comes in. So now what we need to do is a, uh, what we need to know about the text layering. So text layering is interesting is everything that happens on the bottom will affect the effects on the top. So basically uh, this directional blur, if it's on the top, it would not really affect anything that's under it. So you can see that both of them now do not have the directional blur, but if I drag it here, it will still have the directional blur. So what we want to happen is we want to add or duplicate this directional blur. We can con press Control C and then Control V to copy it. And we want this to also drag these over to 15 frames further. So but what you see now, there's like extra blur on the smooth and it's still blurry while it stopped. So now we need to be quite clever with how we position the text here. So we can move the text review on top and we're going to move this directional blur to be above the text of uh, above the smooth. Now what will happen is because this will, this first directional or the bottom directional blur will affect the smooth, but because it um, already goes to zero before the second text comes in, it will not affect the text on top. Plus uh, these, um, yeah, this one won't affect the other uh, or the second uh, or the top directional blur will not affect the smooth because it's above it. So when we now play this, we can see it will have the proper directional blur without mm, uh, yeah, doing weird things. So that is pretty much the yeah smooth review. And we can also add a slight zoom effect. Um, 
pretty much we just can go up here at the scale. We don't need to go through here. Just scale it up. And so we're going to add the toggle animation, drag this to one side. We want 105 should be enough and should be quite of a slow zoom out. And so we can see like this slight zoom out effect, which often see in a lot of like cinematic uh, title sequences or uh, yeah, intros have these text coming in and then slightly zooming out. So pretty much that was it for the smooth text review. And it's well, actually, I haven't <laughs> looked at this correctly uh, for my own eyes. Totally did not write that correctly. So I didn't spot that mistake. But yeah, also another thing is uh, fixing the text. By doing this is also quite simple. So, okay, I didn't know what that's about. So that was the smooth text review. Hopefully you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye-bye.